So I dated Orisa Tisa part two, and this was under heavy demand. As she was sitting in the courtroom after she had heard, you know, the testimony from the two girls. Now, she's sitting there probably for like 20 minutes after they didn't cleared the courtroom. One of the bailiffs come up to her and he's like, you know, hey, you OK? You know, she is sitting there and she tell him a little bit of why she even there. And so he like shocked, you know what I'm saying? Because she he know, you know, he didn't been behind the curtain. He didn't he didn't read the psych profile. He didn't did a full background. He didn't seen all the stuff on his background. He like, yeah, this dude is, you know, da 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 da. So she get to talking to the bailiff, telling him, you know, just how bad she feel and, you know, how stupid she feel and all this stuff, right? Bailiff walks her to her car. They, you know, he don't feel so bad, you know, trying to pick her up, right? Because she's basically about to fall apart at this point, right? Y'all. Now, remember, all of this is being told to me on our first date. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like taking this all in. I mean, it's like, I mean a made for tv special i'm just sitting there like in utter amazement listening to the story the bailiff you know gets her number they talk on the phone or whatever why within 30 days did she marry the bailiff i know what y'all thinking i know what y'all thinking but this is all absolutely true at this point you know it's getting late we've been at the restaurant you know for a minute right and so she's she's telling me just a little bit more about what happened between her and the bailiff. So the bailiff had a side hustle where he was fixing people's credits and stuff like that. So, you know, she had basically tapped out her all all of her finances to help fight this case for this dude or whatnot. So the bailiff was like, you know what, I can help you, you know, get back on your feet with your credit or whatnot, because this is what I do on the side. I got a whole bunch of customers and I can help you fix this. So she allows the bailiff to help fix her um, situation now this is all like they've been talking on the phone for maybe like two or three days so she signs up you know with his little program or whatever signs the release gives him all the information he needs or whatever to start fixing her credit or whatever and getting herself back on on track she said like after maybe like 48 hours she checked her credit report her credit had jumped by like 85 points like instantaneously he was like, hey, there's some other stuff I can do to really, you know, put some money in your pocket and help you out. Really. And she's like, you know, wow, this is great. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't know how I was going to do this and how I was going to do that. But he had worked his magic and um, got her stuff back together. You know, and so at this point, they're dating. She going over his house. He coming over her house. You know, he all these gestures, flowers at work, lunches, you know, impromptu picnics like she was like this dude was perfect everything she ever wanted in a dude she he was he was basically doing and coming out of the situation she was in she was just like i just kept going with it because it felt so good so make a long story short he's like let's go to vegas and she's like i've never been to vegas that sounds fun and exciting da 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 so he takes her to vegas make a long story short he gets her to vegas they had this they go to some shows, go to some concerts, go to some restaurants. I mean, they, they do the whole Vegas experience. Right. And so as they're doing this whole Vegas experience, he's like, you know, what I'm saying I just never found nobody like you. Da, 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 da. We should get married. Now, we're still at the restaurant. Right. So the waitress comes and brings the check. And so I pay the check or whatever. And she's like, all right, we should get out of here now. In my head, I'm like, Greg, okay, going to leave me on the edge of my seat and I ain't going to get the rest of this story. <laughs> I mean, I, I am invested at this point. Right. So we in the car. I'm taking her home. She's sort of still talking about the wedding and all that stuff that happened at the wedding or whatnot. And I'm like, I need to get the rest of this story. Pulls up to her house. And she's like, oh, look. I understand if you don't want to go out on another date, uh, you're just really easy to talk to. And I know I probably gave you way too much information on the first date, but I guess I just needed to get it off my chest and whatnot. And, you know, me, I'm going to just keep it a buck. I wanted to hear the rest of the story and I didn't want to like, you know, 
not get the rest of the story. So I'd be like, hey, no, nah, you know, you're fine. You're fine. You know, coming out of those type of situations, sometimes you just need a release of information just so, you know, you can get it off your chest. I under, I understand. I really enjoyed your time, your energy, the ability you were able to share. What you got planned tomorrow? Like, we can grab coffee and maybe go go for a walk or whatnot. You know me, I'm laying in up thick. I want the rest of the story. <laughs> so, make a long story short, she agrees. We set up to go get coffee in the morning. In the morning, you know what I'm saying, we go get coffee. And she's telling me about the rest of the story. So, the bailiff, he fixed her credit. He, somehow, he was able to, he basically fixed her credit, created an LLC in her name, had the LLC funded with capital, all of this like within 45 days. And I've seen different stuff on the internet where people say they can do all this stuff or whatnot. So for her, it was like, man, this is really going to help me out. I got a business. I can start doing stuff under my business or whatever. But then stuff started getting weird, right? She was like, you know, her credit score started to go down. So like it, she said, he had got her credit score like over about two months. He had got her credit score up to like eight something. And then it just started going down, down, down. And she hadn't done anything with anything. So she was just, you know, curious. And so she asked him about it. And he was like, sometimes when they give you a whole bunch of capital up front, they start to, you know, take it away or, you know, your credit score starts to go down. So don't worry about it too much. Right. And so she's like, cool. And she has no reason to distrust the, the bailiff. For one, he's a bailiff at a, at a court. You know what I'm saying? So he works for a judge. You know what I'm saying? He has all these other customers. Da, 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 da. After about maybe a week or two, she decides to pull her own credit. Right. Like, you know separate than what you know he had been providing or whatever so she pulls up the credit and she sees that she has an american express platinum a discover um card uh inspire like she got and they all got credit lines of like 75 a hundred thousand dollars like all this you know capital or i mean you know credit or whatnot but some of them are like maxed out and she's like i don't even know where these cards are coming from but then she looks she she gets the the credit report she calls the companies and she gets access to the online portal which has already been set up and she sees the whole trip to vegas was on that credit card all the gifts all the gestures all on the credit card everything but then she starts to see other charges like in other cities other